My name is Dustin, and I'm mostly known as Bolo among the streets. And uh, the photography game, that's what I'm known for. This is Bolo Photography. It uh, actually started as just a, a childhood fascination with photography in general, you know, just always checking out photography in books, uh, framed up pictures at restaurants or stores or wherever I might have seen photography, you know, it just always fascinated me and uh, captured my attention. So if I would see a picture, I would examine it, look to try to see what the photographer was was capturing in that image you know was it just the obvious or was it something more in depth you know when it comes to the low riding community the lifestyle of low riding uh, what attracts me to to, the, to all that is is along the same lines of photography there's a an artistic element to low riding um, you know when you look at some of these rides they've got some nice paint jobs you know uh, are just intricate pattern work, uh, the detailed airbrushed murals that uh, that that are you know sported on these rides. You know, there's uh, there's a lot of time and, and thought that go into a lot of these rides. The root of low riding, the, the cultural root of it, uh, you know, it, it really represents pride in, in your culture. Um, you know, it it started off as being a brown thing. You know, Hispanic, Mexican. Uh, based culture but uh, it's grown so much and, and to see so many people have a love for it that's great but um, the bottom line is those roots that uh, that uh, th th they're deep rooted into that that customizing of their their vehicles and uh, you know on that artistic side what is there not to love I have been taking pictures now for close to 20 years. It's it's been uh, it's been quite a while now. Um, you know, I remember the first few car shows I went to uh, back in like '96. Uh, you know, first big car shows I should say was in '96, and I remember you know taking a few snapshots of the cars there. But then I felt this urge to get a little more artistic. You know, back then in, in that year. There really wasn't any low riding websites out there. So I, I started my own website and started posting up pictures. Some of the magazines I've shot for, um, you know, or at least my work has been uh, seen in, uh, would be most notably or recognized, uh, the most recognized would be in Lowrider magazine. I, I've been shooting for Lowrider for about 12 years now. You know, to keep things fresh for, for my photography, um, you know, the thing that would influence me uh, or, or even motivate me to, to do, you know, new photo shoots or, or different kinds of shoots uh, actually comes back to movies. Uh, you know, I, I've always been a big fan of, of movies and uh, when it comes to movies in general, just um, the ones that have some really nice cinematography. Um, I'm really into that. You know, there's there's some movies that have an artistic element to them, or, or they the way they're filmed. So so yeah, funny enough, it's it's actually movies that that inspire me. You know, certain scenes or or just visuals that that come across in in those movies, or or even music videos.
hope that they enjoy them. You know, for the most part, I, I take pictures for myself. You know, I, I take them for what I like or the, the vision I have in my mind. And, you know, and I hope other people like them too. If they do, that's awesome. You know, that it always makes me feel good to hear people say, hey, I, I saw your photo shoot. I, I love the pictures. I love your photography. You know, it's, it's, it's just very, um, I feel very honored to, to hear people say that and it makes me feel good, you know. Um, I try to capture something different. I try to have a different feel for, for photography com compared to other photographers. I'm very big on backgrounds, you know. I, I try to find very good uh, backdrops for my photo shoots, you know, something that, like if I'm shooting a car, if, if there's a nice background to complement the car, you know, it just makes the whole overall image look even better. So, um, you know, a lot of time and, and work goes into putting a shoot together. So, again, when when it's all finalized, if I get complimented on it, that's that's the best right there. Guys and gals that are out there that want to get into photography, they're just starting up. Um, you know, I would say shoot from the heart. You know, don't uh, don't just shoot uh, what you see other photographers doing. I mean, have your own style, and it's not about getting the best camera or the best lighting equipment or all that stuff. You know, you can have the most basic camera and basic equipment and. Um, still take great photographs. It's about being creative and using what you have and creating a, an image uh, that, uh, that has some kind of message to it. But yeah, outside of the country, um, there's a uh, there's been some magazines in Australia, in Europe, that I've appeared in. So after a while, I guess it's hard to, to remember them all. But uh, you know, I've had a good run. I, I can't complain. If, if it were to end today, I could die a happy man.